Hello, I'm Tome Keeper Devon, and you're watching Rentech Riders. Before we get into the action, I just wanted to do a quick thank you to our sponsors of uh, Norse Foundry for these lovely uh, dice trays and the dice that we'll be using, as well as Hero Forge for the uh, character portraits, Japanime Games, of course, for the Animaria, and Lynn Vander for the game design. Enjoy the show. Welcome back to Rentech Riders, where we left off. The simulation had just ended. You can see the purple and orange clouds and the uh, hordes of demons and uh, various other vitriol and remnants of the battle begin to fade away as the illusion magic peels back, revealing a large room with a very big audience of junior students and uh, Professor uh, Morticia Windwish, who was uh, currently uh, overseeing the entire thing as a demonstration of the flawless uh, activity and uh, military prowess of the senior students of Loon Academy. Um, and as the illusions fade away, uh, Riyad just starts making his way directly towards Eke and is just held back by Shade as he's oh, like, no, just... No, 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 we cannot fight like this. Come on. <laughs> see the little figure come up. As uh, Morticia just sort of says, as you see, students, it is incredibly important to maintain professionalism and com sense of camaraderie and loyalty to your mission when enacting upon the defenses. Otherwise, uh, things can go very wrong very quickly. Now, uh, let us progress onwards to the rest of our studies. There's nothing left to... Ahem. Okay, we'll go over and quickly pop up onto the nearest platform where the students sit. They pop up with little two twin tails come up, whatever, he just sits down, looks and says, She forgot a valuable lesson. If the word is perfect, then in time you will... Unlike some... There's like this, like, like, a back <laughs> after that. <clears throat> like, what did I do? Oh, Rhea, he looks at Rhea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, are we still in our red text at all? Or were those Probably out yeah, now. It was, yeah, yeah, no, they're, they're, they're you're, you're, as you are now. Okay, Kyoda is just like looking around for that cool new claw that he had. He's like, Ooh. I did for you too. I kind of got into it back then. I like that. Okay. Better than okay. Yeah. I'm fine. Yes, of course. Try to kill me? I think she took advantage of the fact that you had actual danger. I'm sorry, are you talking about me? Like, I'm not here. Once again, as... Don't even. <laughs> there is a teacher right there. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, as, as, the, <laughs> as the juniors are escorted out, uh, Morticia kind of comes back around as, perhaps it would do you all best to return to your general activity, you can be at ease mm -hmm. and go about your business. Go be at ease. Or shall we say, ass ease. Oh my nice. god, they're the following me. The whiskers just do this. <laughs> I'm going to be filing not a, part of the book. a it's proper an part. formal complaint. Mm. Thank you. The dean will be hearing about this. Uh -huh. um, I mean, I'm so wounded. Can I very, uh, I have a pretty high stealth. Uh, can I very sneakily use thaumaturgy again to make just a little toot come from both of you? <laughs> Both of them. Yeah, yeah, great. Oh. Just be like, whoa, how childish. What, what, Make sure the no, 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 no. That, that, one too. <laughs> okay. no, screw it. that was not me. That was not me. I don't fart. I promise. You're it, lucky. Wind wish is here, or we'd be. Showing you a lesson. We've already got a little bit too much wind here. Oh so God. why don't you make room for her? <laughs> yeah. I'll break you. Uh, so Riyad and Shade sort of make their way out of the simulation room. Uh, more so because they're kind of being shooed out by the professor and <laughs> taken away from the rest of you. 
Maybe next time we don't get any extra help. I think we as a crew are pretty good. I agree. You should be like... Now I see why you fixed all your exams in a good way by getting the answers right. Try it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, the, the, uh, the answers you... That's okay. I've decided I don't need them. I've learned a lot by watching you, you, even you. <gasps> I'm yes. looking at the mirror directly behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he knows, he knows. He... <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Must keep in mind, they are nothing more than a cog, the wheel of our time. We are the ones with the granular pieces and that fall. Friendship. All right, Pud. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard a better... Uh, metaphor? Uh, Mayor Zero is saying dumb shit. I think uh, I don't know why he's being so metaphor. He's straightforward. That's the one. He he's got it. smart like you. Yeah, like uh, Kai. This whole team is so smart. <laughs> Thanks, Pug. Oh, you're great. Where are we supposed to go now? Like, what are we? You're at ease, so Where you can you can wander Loon Academy as you see Where fit, do your normal thing. So, I have, do I have a, an office or? You would probably have a very tiny little cubicle office, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, if you wish to, where you would have lots of probably paperwork that hasn't been touched. Oh. Um, or will it ever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there are, I mean, there, there are various uh, sections about Loon Academy that you could use your free time to engage in. There's the Athletic Center, which I imagine is uh, of, of great interest to, uh, to Kiri. There is oh. the uh, the Mana Labs, which is where you know all of the various types of like, spell weaving and technology and everything is researched and sorted out. The Grand Library, which is I've said, just the library. Uh, dormitories, of course, where you can go back to your room and chill out and listen to some music or something, you know, punch a pillow and do it is whatever it is you do. Um, there's the mess complex uh, where you can find like recreation, eating, snacks, games. Uh, there's like, you know, veil chests and mini simulators and stuff there as well. And then the lecture blocks where there's always some chronomancer or magical guardian or sage or professor or. T- all sorts of people just giving lectures constantly uh, about various parts of Elysia and the world. Cool. Bud? <laughs> Bud is approximately the size of a cat. But shaped like a football? It's shaped like a dragon. If a dragon was shaped like a football. Where'd the football part come from? (laughs) (laughs) You said they were on one, right? Yes. Uh, Okay. Okay. But is is the size of a cat shaped like a dragon if a dragon were shaped like a football? Correct. Or a football. Can I? I'm asking if I can hold. Yes. 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 Like a football. Yes. Okay, so I take pug (laughs) and I'm going to like hold it under my. Like the rugby tuck? (laughs) The purr, I think, is like a, you know, when you, st- like, if you accidentally step on, like, a cat's foot or their tail or something, that horrible screech, yeah. it's that, but, like, an elongated screech. That's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> I think Pud deserves a treat. Let's go to the mess hall. Yes, I was just going to say, you should go eat something. That's perfect. <laughs> All right. Do you want to eat something? something? Fast. Do you want to eat something? <laughs> <laughs> Drool starts coming <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I think oh, it was easy. Oh, oh. Uh, can, I, uh, can I sort of just, as the drool's flying, can I, like, collect stuff? Ask. <laughs> yeah. You, You'll see. Yeah. Don't question my madness. <laughs> it stays on you. <laughs> That's why we're at Lunacy Academy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Food time, old man. You gotta feed. Yeah. Leafy greens. Otherwise. Turns them. Okay. <laughs> Assuming that they're going to follow. Me. I assume everyone. Yeah. Does. Yeah. Okay. I will. Will we have potentially time to do other things later? Or oh yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. You're you're basically um you're basically on call, Great. so you can meander around Loon Academy as much as you like until a uh, mission director calls Ooh. you in for a mission generally, or you're called to uh, do another simulation to show off for juniors, which I'm sure they're chomping at the bit to get you guys to do that again. <laughs> There's always uh, time. Ah. Get it. You think they were impressed? Oh, I was. Your friendship always impressed. I was thoroughly impressed. Everybody else's shots. To be honest. I love you guys so much. 
This is such a beautiful yes. friendship moment. One hundred. Don't take. At least you. It was like you didn't even take. <laughs> I mean, the charges were yeah. gone, but yeah. yeah. We just touched <laughs> fingers. <laughs> Elliot, what? <laughs> um, uh, no, if you'd not missed that first shot, they wouldn't have been distracted by it. Which means I wouldn't have been able to harpoon them. Thank you. I appreciate your support. What's this, Paul? Friendship oh. chic! Friendship it's chic! Toughest. Friendship oh, chic! Other tail goes on top. It's <laughs> 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 safe. On the way oh. there. Sorry. Now it's safe. Oh. <laughs> I have a question for you guys. Can you guys also hear this thing? Oh, I've been talking this whole time! Yes. You guys hear, oh, that? Wow. You guys hear that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, all right. I just talk. No, I like it. I like it when you do it. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Oh, it's a great sound to fall asleep to. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think Pud was, uh. Friendship! Yes. Was saying that this was a great bonding right. moment. Oh, right. We get another friendship? You get yeah. some resolve. Right. Keeping tabs? I'm always sucking in. You're at two. You're at two. Two friendship points? Yeah, it's a pool. It's a pool. You're at two. Friendship now. pool. Okay. I am still holding it. Yeah. They? Uh, whatever. <laughs> it's, it's, it's. <laughs> it's it's like I mean it's a conceptual entity, so <laughs> like it doesn't like reproduce. It's, it's our just... scrappy doom. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> I just like you. My bloodline ends with me. <laughs> oh wow. Wow. What would you like to eat? Everything. Yeah, emerging into the uh, the area known as the uh, MC by the. S complex. Uh, there's uh, it's sort of several floors. There's a lounge area where you can see several other students who are just kind of hanging around. You can see that there are uh, a couple of people playing veil chess as they're moving pieces around. Um, uh, some of them are getting up and slamming the table. Uh, and then there are other like simulator areas where you can see like they've got like full people sitting around in armchairs with a big sort of illusion projection of like an airship scene and you can I see it occasionally they'll like point out something and something change on the illusion um and then there is uh sort of the cafeteria area just uh, a large amount of people sitting around eating packing uh and uh i mean that's where you head to which is ground floor you make your way in they have all sorts of various types of food, but it is much more structured around uh, practicality. There isn't like anything extravagant or uh, over the top. This is this is a military uh, mess hall. It, it's it's not like disgusting sludge food, but it's it's not exactly five star uh, Michelin either. Like it's it's very much you know standardized kind of. You get your protein, you get your greens, you get your everything you need to keep your body functioning, and it isn't so bad that you hate life eating it so it's it's a bare minimum to like you know it, it's it's the it's the beige of food mm. Step up from beige yeah. pretty beige. sure yeah the green is like off beige like canvas it's like a canvas of <laughs> yeah, yeah. A canvas of <laughs> gray stuff it's all right <laughs> uh so I'll, as they go get the food i'll just go find the table at this guy more peaceful uh, do you have like a special table? Like a place is there, yeah, do you have like a, your table? Yeah, there's your a table, table that we always kind of go to. Probably scratched. It's got your name yeah. scratched yes. in this. <laughs> Definitely. There's, um, there's a shotgun barrel just lost. <laughs> okay. I'll okay. just mark. Yeah. Yeah. And Eke will like, like leap up to the table's edge and then turn around and brush off the area that he's sitting else and then like spins around and just i feel like the cleaners just don't touch this table yeah, they just it's just they just leave it alone <laughs> like he sits there and while they're ordering the food as a very just uh you like a small circle of uh, time up here uh almost like crap and then poke through it nothing and you see him come out with like a again dish a different i'm using a power pull from tomorrow which mm -hmm. is an ability for me to a different I pull something of value that I could pay for, food, um, and then I bring that item into my reality, and it's usually used for things like key. Yeah. And stuff. But in this case, I'm using it to pull pull out a uh, uh, a really nice like berry compote cheesecake with like uh, you know a bunch of shaved uh, almonds and stuff and white cheese and just like and just a little cheese plate or something. And he just kind of pulls this through and then. Starts charcuterie? Eating. Yeah, charcuterie, sure. Nice. And he puts the plate down, actually. He doesn't eat yet, and he just waits very patiently and stoic for his. 
gray sludge just Rays. right next to you. <laughs> Fill it with rays. They taught me no veggies. I Come on, Pogo. Go. Alrighty. I do ask for a trough. And uh, Pud, does Pud just like position himself underneath everybody, just mouth open? Waiting, kind of like circling the table as people just like drop stuff. Very efficient vacuum cleaner. <laughs> What can't you do, bud? Uh, uh, you'll never die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like that's a foresight. <laughs> oh. A wad of gray stuff just kind of like flies right past Kai's head and lands just on the table. Oh no. Uh, you look over, you see uh, Riyadh and Shay just kind of like, not looking at you, they're just kind of like pointing off at something in the distance. Hmm. If only we were in a simulation. <laughs> Pud can fly, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to take my tray, I'm going to pass it to Pud, and say, you drop this somewhere if you like. <laughs> Just yeah. kind of signaling over to Shade. <laughs> <laughs> I punched the barista. Splats. <laughs> it splats everywhere, yeah. They have food, they have the gray stuff. Yeah, they, the, yeah, they're, they're getting, yeah they've got like a, a pile of gray stuff. It looks like they've either eaten it or, you know, some of it's been disturbed. around too much. Yeah. They're not eating it yet. They haven't actually taken it, but you haven't seen them take a bite. I'll wait for that. Uh, they they kind of make their way off to their table. Mm-hmm. It's very similar to your table, except not as cool. That's yeah. Uh, and, it's uh, and they yeah, it's much cleaner. <laughs> they sit down at their table and then they do begin to I'm eat. And you like... can see they're, they're like it's like they're looking over at you guys, but they're trying to make it look like they're not looking over at you guys. So let's kind of be like you know like. Well, they you know. have a happy accident. Yeah. Uh, is there? Oh. Oh, very doubtful. They will enjoy their food. Mm. Well, they though, Pud. <laughs> so I'm going to minor illusion a tray so it looks like I still have mine uh-huh. as Pud flies off with mine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Pud loves you all and will listen like to the letter. So like they drop it off, it clatters. <laughs> um, and can you describe like again, what do we have on this? Yeah, so it's, it's just like if mashed potatoes and like cream of mushroom soup were one thing, right? Oh. And so when it lands, it's just this goop, <laughs> like just, just kind of all over their table. The sidewalk. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I think you just hear like uh, a shriek. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not my favorite top. And then she looks down and away. <laughs> you see Riyadh just kind of like pull his sword and just like. Let's eat her. Um, no, yeah, I think we'll all be like, ah! I think this is the greatest, the great time to point out that uh, while well, doing this, of course, Pud went invisible. Yes. Right. Uh, As Pud has just at will invisibility. Oh, perfect. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> uh, but when you're like, not my favorite top, uh, would it be all right if I, there's there's still the food that y'all already had, right? Mm-hmm. That's right. That was can I say like, don't worry, I can fix this for you, but like to my friends. Um, and I want to use my shotgun uh, <laughs> to blast the food in front of you. Like, <laughs> two, little, two little quick shots with my two attacks per action. <laughs> like just to blow the food up? Is that well? It's gonna get on you more. You know, like when you get oil on a shirt, and we've all had the thought but not followed through of like, if I dip the rest of it in oil, it's not noticeable. You don't know. That's me. what I think you have done. That's what I'm thinking is gonna be. I'm like, I'll actually help them out. Poor things. Take uh, yeah. Roll two. Roll two attacks. You got it. The DC. The, the AC. They'll be low, but you know, you might still miss. Or maybe your gun will misfire, you never know. <laughs> that, one. Um, that is an 18 That'll on the first. And we've got an 18 on the Okay. Second. So it just... Uh, he's very crack shot. Yeah, yeah, just... Yes. <laughs> this is not okay. Headmaster! This... We're being bullied again. <laughs> I could fix their clothes with the more gray. That was really sad. We were minding our own business. Maybe you should have been minding my business. What does that even mean? Yeah. (laughs) My father will hear of this, you know. Yeah. Say thank you. No. Tell your father of our power. Ew. Ew? No. I don't know. I'm covered in this. Let's just go eat in the dormitories away from these. Freaks. Fine, it's cool. With her. Anyways, is anyone gonna hold me back to them? Yeah. So, <laughs> so as you're leaning forward, this this staff will just come across and like just like just like the, the two like uh, antlers will just like tap your your one fist and just kind of aim you to the table. That was not the time. All good things come. Hey, how to many those. times can you clap in thirty seconds? <laughs> like a trillion. Okay. <laughs> It's like jazz. The claps you don't hear are the ones that matter. 
<laughs> well, an applause to leave. <laughs> That's way more than I can ever do. <laughs> Man. Uh, the, so they they cool. kind of just up, like turn their nose up and they make their way out and they just kind of like tap their leg as a gorgeous, immaculate, pretty little fairy dragon just sort of appears up next to their side, just huffs and... Smooth. It's like glittery. Its eyes are the same size. Its mouth fits its face. So there's no character. <laughs> Damn. 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 Looks, like, looks like a children's toy. <laughs> I like Pud better. Yeah. Yes. Oh, thanks. I like me better too. You're very quizzable. <laughs> yeah, I like a, a ball of feet. Nope. Mm. That's the one among the weirdest things you've said so far. An oblong ball. That's me. That's just me. That's me. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you too. You'll never die. French <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just want to remind them. But I can't handle that. <laughs> Aww. So, what does your typical downtime look like for for your for the uh, the Rentec riders? What what is their what is their typical kind of day about the academy look like as you settle into your routine? Well, after we've eaten, I, I very much wanted to go to the Mana Lab, um, but I wanted some some me time there. Um, because I collected the saliva of our friendship That's dragon, mm-hmm. and I have the ability to uh, craft custom uh, ammo, I just want to see oh. what I can sort of cook up with that. Nice. Friendship bullets! Friendship nice. bullets. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> I don't think we can describe what I'm going I'll for. I'll defeat you with the power of friendship with this gun I found. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 100%. And I don't know what that ends up cooking up yet. Maybe that's later. Maybe that's for you to decide, DMs. But yeah. I'm just like, I want to spend the four hours of crafting ammo using this as like an infusion. Are you a regular at the Mana Labs? Like, are you well known there? You, you can often be found uh, there. Known and feared are so similar, where it's like, <laughs> there is this like aspect to it of like, he's not coming from a place of true intelligence, but that's where the ingenuity comes from. Uh-huh. So it'll just be like, time to figure out guns again. And the people will just be like, oh, we should probably clear out. away. Like, oh, look at the time. I have to go into the bathroom for six hours. Um, like, but, I've locked my cubicle so he doesn't touch it. Just yeah, in yeah, case yeah, yeah. Yeah. might happen. There's one very, like, soot-covered corner of the lab. <laughs> I'm like, time to do science at the guns. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, that's just me cooking it up. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, My voice will change a lot this whole time. Yeah, yeah. it's a character quirk. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, what does uh, Takiri do? What I was doing. Curling. Never stop, always grind. Always uh, get those games. Head to the athletic center and you're just <laughs> working on the gains. What, uh, what is your sport of choice? Muay Thai? Yeah, that's fine. It's Muay Thai. Punching things. Little change. <laughs> Cross check. Uh, so do you have like, so I, I would imagine the athletic center here is like sort of multi-tiered because you've got all like the Ariels and, and those who can fly sort of hitting all these things suspended from the ceiling. And then you've got the ones on the ground where those with who can't fly are kind of dealing with. So uh, do you tend to fly around and, and deal with like the punching bags or do you stay down on the ground level? Yeah, I fly around. Yeah, you know, watch how I has kick. I do my flying kick and I flap my wing. So Look at my air time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> A yeah, lot I'm of just, impressed yeah. people. <laughs> like, and just do you have like a do you have like a little fan club? I kind of like watch you hang out I or think like I, work out. Maybe so. I do. I will probably be junior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know any better? Than yes. I'm showing off a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I and I definitely like the obnoxious one in the gym who shouldn't be making this much noise when they live. Yeah, when yeah, you drop the you drop the weight, you're just like. Oh, 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 and that's what I'm doing. I'm working out. Uh, what about Kai? What's, what's Kai get up to? Uh, Kai is going to head to the Mana Lab. However, Kai is going to take the back entrance because <laughs> Kai sees Chogun on his way and says, ah, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and just in the back, um, Kai's going to be working on some like Renica plating, just trying to see if he can retrofit the, uh, the Academy uniform just have like some you know uh feather fall properties it's not it's a project he's been working on for a long time he hasn't quite got it yet but he's got the principles down and he's just trying to see if he can you know add some functionality to his tube yeah am i even though he's trying to hide am i aware that kai is in there well so this is are you both in the same room or are you in do you have like are is you in like, like opposite like an ends or space or uh so there's like several floors to it so i oh. think you'll see me at certain points where i like nice. go ahead and like grab some tools nice uh but yeah like i'll be back and forth cool I'm, yeah just curious just kind of like you see kai and just kind of look up for a minute he grabs his stuff and he walks in you're like you get back you get back to what you're doing 
Uh, what is what is? So, okay, do you go to your office then, or are you, are you one of those people who just, you're never He's actually never at your office. office? Yeah, you just have like a currently out sign that's like covered in dust. <laughs> yes, and the, and the papers just get thicker. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Thicker and they just collect dust. Uh, Eke actually takes time. Uh, every downtime, he picks a new student uh, to watch and just hang out with. Doesn't speak to them. Doesn't give advice. Doesn't stare. It's always in the same vicinity. And that's it. So in this case, uh, you see well five or six uh, Renica crystals in a row with a, uh, a almost like a, um, a tread, and there's this treadmill going in the same gym. So he's, hey, he's hanging out with uh, Takiri this time, and you see the treadmill just going at full tilt, right? And on the the top bar part of it, Ek is just sitting there <laughs> as the treadmill is going, <laughs> and he's just watching Takiri's like fighting style and just thinking of ways to like use that in combat to help the rest of the team. He's he's watched the mana lab thing several times, avoided a couple of explosions by reverse less than reversing a couple of beakers without him seeing it really. Um, and so and he and, and he's he's watched sniper practices and things just kind of helped He's just there and they know he's there He makes it very obvious because he's sitting on a treadmill while it's running full bore and he's not running And he's just sitting there and this time I think what he's doing is to, to kind of hide it. He's he's got a spell book and he's just like Like little tongue comes up between his teeth I'm like you don't know who Kakashi is. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. What? yeah. <laughs> you just him. Really? yeah. <laughs> that was so good. And he's like, and then every once in a while you'll just see like through the through the head, you'll just like look up. <laughs> and then I'll just go. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what he'll be doing. He's just gonna be watching and learning and he's enjoying students. Okay. Uh so I would say then, uh, I don't know, would we consider that bonding, or is that that feels more like just kind of that's like a, yeah. like a yeah, very much yeah, like okay. a teacher to Parental. vibes, yeah, supervise, supervise. That's the one, uh, cha chaperoning. <laughs> yeah, chaperoning. But he's not doing it to see if they're getting in trouble. He's doing it because he's enjoying their presence because he knows he's going back to a place of time where he will live eternally, and they may pass on sometimes. Yeah, it's just I mean, memorizing. It's definitely worth saying that this will be your last. A year with them as they are in yeah. the graduating class. Yeah. And so he's kind of really soaking it. Yeah. Uh, it's one of those things where uh, Rentex are a special and unique type of magic technology where they require very specific types of individuals to wield them. And they have found that uh, people, the youth, the people still going through growth in their life, best uh, attribute themselves to the mana flow, as mana is life. It courses through the planet. The planet is literally a living organism, and the mana billows through it on ley lines, similar to a bloodstream. And so, because it is life, and it is one with all that is growing and in existence, uh, those still going through the process of growth and of um, kind of learning what it means to, to live and uh, not quite reaching adulthood yet, have the best resonance with the Rentex. And so uh, one of the reasons why it requires those so young to operate these devices is because of this. And so many Rentex pilots are of uh, still in, in their teenage years. And when you start to reach beyond that and you kind of get older, it becomes harder and harder for you to synchronize with the Rentec than it used to be. And so oftentimes you will sort of wind down, you'll get into lesser powerful devices, things similar to what Eke moves around in, which is more of a mobile uh, kind of flight vehicle, less of an actual like Rentec for combat. And uh, eventually you might either settle into more of an instructor position or a higher military position. And so this is sort of your last year in your prime. Is it's it, from here on out, it's going to be downhill in terms of Rentec, and it, it, it's just known. It's known that this is just how it's going to be, and so from here on out, you you all kind of have that in the back of your mind that this is your last big year to finally like really prove yourself and really do everything that you wanted to do, uh, and uh, you know you may be looking forward to sort of the the, the slow weaning away. You may be dreading it. Um, you can kind of interpret it however you like, but this is something that is definitely resting on all of your minds. And with that comes Eke having to return back to the Tower of Kronos and resume his uh, magical guardian, standard magical guardian business and, and no longer watching over you. 
sort of this term. Got it some uh, some fake grand order to oversee, if you know what I mean. Uh, no <laughs> one, I got one. 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 Join us today. That's the show. No. <laughs> Out of curiosity, um, when we talk about like reaching adulthood, like it's the teenage years, are we going sort of off of the the human understanding of teenage years and adult years, or are we talking about our our race specific? It would be specific to your people. Um, okay. The elves are usually kind of an exception. They they. The, the best Ren tech pilots tend to be elves because it takes them so much longer to mature. Got it. Um, and so, what'll likely happen? The Vermindorar age very, you know, a little mm -hmm. bit differently as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, for for a lot of you, I mean, Kai is in an interesting situation, which we'll <laughs> we'll, we'll kind of leave for now. But um, it is expected that you, as this unit. Are on borrowed time, you will likely no longer be in this unit because as you age further as Verndorar, you won't be able to keep up with so Elven I'm going you're off from adulthood and... as a Verndorar. Yeah. Without getting any specifics of it. That's right. Got it. Great. <laughs> Not quite extinct. You're getting there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm boned. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah. So the, the okay. Main thing is that you are currently in your prime and this is potentially your last real year of, of being in that situation. Gotcha. Not to get too real about like the school <laughs> system and everything, but... <laughs> Try it no, like again. Like... <laughs> Peaked in high school. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. cool, thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure so I'm aware of my own age. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. This is something you're all very, very aware of, and uh, in, in the time that you spend alone, kind of with that in your mind, I, I think it is coming more to the forefront, and you do uh, have whatever emotions do come through to make you much more keenly aware of that than you otherwise would be throughout the rest of your day. Uh, and as the day finally begins to wind down, uh, you do finish constructing something. Mm. You've got these bullets. Don't know what they'll do. I know what I'm, I know what I would like them to do, but it, w should I roll for that or do we just... You what would you like? What are you going to test it on? Shoot a friend? Um, if it comes down to that, my, my hope, my goal with this, just as an aside to you, is that I want to make bullets that will not, because it's imbued with the power of our literal friendship, mm -hmm. it will not damage my friends if they were hit by it. I see. Friendship bullets. Mm -hmm. Oh. That sounds reasonable. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. I yeah. love that. I might like walk by to get tools and just be like, maybe. maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm not gonna do it. Uh, do I want this wrench? I'm not gonna do it, survivor. They like me so weird. I'm not gonna do. I. <laughs> oh. Um. I'm not gonna. Do it. I, I. I didn't even notice. We're friends, right? Yeah. We're... Yeah. Fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would be disappointed. <laughs> oh, shit. Too bad they're working out. <laughs> Feel free to also tell me if uh, that's an issue in terms of the show we're making. No! I'm just like, I am just in our uh, cool school pointing guns at my friends. Oh, when you, when I, I, I need to think of that. Yeah, yeah, see, that this is not a school based yeah. in America, well. so it's a little different. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry to say it like that. Uh, <laughs> is HUD uh, lifting? I'm trying. I'm trying to imagine, like, yeah, I picture them as little. Pound weights. Uh, two pound, one point yeah, five, one point yeah. five. Rolling it around. How much? How much weight can a cat lift? Like, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, probably not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but have you seen the mice that they carry around sometimes? Yeah, just showing you, my cat's got a lot of torque. She. <laughs> 1.5 pounds then. And what cat? You're talking about like a house cat? Or? There's like a little corner where all the fairy dragons are all like working yes. out. Like. There's some really like uh, buff ones, like uh, little fairy dragons with like a hundred abs. There's some that are just like uh, 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 <laughs> 101 ab. Um, 13 pack. Yes. <laughs> and then there's just little pud. Brownish, <laughs> trying their best, sweating out of every pore, yeah. every single spot. And they're just in a little puddle of their own sweat. And is, is fairy dragon sweat like chromatic? Like it's like multi multi colors, like gasoline. I've been it's thinking kinda, that. Yeah. yeah. You know, hair down there. Oh yeah. 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 Oh ye
Did you like a roll? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Keep doing this. Yeah, that's good. A little barrel rolls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The other barrel dragons are disgusted. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like an oil puddle. Just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the flick scene. But it's also like, as I'm doing the, the flying kicks, I'm just like feeling, sprinkling, but all over the room. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I feel like that's just a given, too. You yeah. get a little couple of raindrops sprinkles, as other yeah, people are working some, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we smell this all the way from the mana lab, because I feel like <laughs> power nectar is probably a little pungent. <laughs> power nectar. So, wow. Yeah, do, do you guys do like an, like an evening hangout? Kind of deal. Like once, once you've all kind of, <laughs> where, where, where do you have a place? Do you just hang out in the dorms? Do you go to like a lounge? Like, what's the question? Yeah, Tell me how you all feel about this. We're obviously some like a, a very sort of specific group. There a rooftop. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah for sure. About hundred yeah. percent. There's a rooftop. Yeah. Do I have to fly them individually up there? Is there? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, all right. There's no way. There's like two doors, but you like insist. Yeah, I, I thought there is a staircase, but they just they just don't want to use them. Mm. Yeah. Because like you're in you're in a you're in a a very large academy that is in a floating society with people who have wings. There are a lot of floors. Um, and like there's lifts and stuff, but not to the roof. That, 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 that's going to be a stairwell. Uh, so if you want, yeah, you could hand hand bomb them all up yeah, to the top. Yeah, right, it's time for our evening hang. <laughs> it's, it's part of your workout. Wait, so like, you purposely yeah, 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 say yeah, the last yeah, rep yeah. routine for this. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So like you know, like a fly, like, like yeah. they're flapping way too hard. <laughs> Straining. <laughs> uh, get them all up there. Uh, getting up to the top uh, of the roof where you usually do your hangout. Yeah, the wind billows quite substantially. There are some dampeners around, the uh, little glowing crystals that keep the the wind reasonable but it's still it's still quite uh, quite breezy up at the top um but just kind of hanging out leaning against one of the walls is uh another one of your your classmates someone who uh used to be your senior and i helped and guided you along through some of your other uh, trials and things as you went through the system and they have since graduated uh moved away from ren tech and they're now a very respected airship captain uh and they're just kind of they seem to be just kind of hanging out up here as they give a bit of a wave What's their uh, this is Flynn with really convincing. I have so much <gasps> on my head. My ear fell off. Flynn, your ear. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Gross. Oh, it happens sometimes. Oh, one eared Flynn. Hello. Oh, yeah. Little costume. <laughs> We're like chest up, so it's just like little, little yeah. things going on. We're like lizards. They go like that. That's right. <laughs> We're like lizards. Yes, describe Flynn for us. Hmm. So I think Flynn is uh, definitely your senior, um, has watched you all grow up since y'all first came to the school and has been like your, literally your senpai, you know, trying to guide you, trying to motivate you. Um, They're tall, lanky. They wear uh, like chromatic goggles, um, probably like a bomber jacket. I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's very, very pilot-esque, you know, Um, cargo pants, lots of pockets, lots of pockets with things in them. And um, just casually kind of like arm across the back uh, of the of the roof, sitting so suave and greets you all as you fly. It, yeah, yeah. Get so are you to... greeting us individually, like hi? Yeah. Yes. Hi. <laughs> hi. And, and Flynn is Flynn like a human, an elf, uh, like an Iranian? Like what are we? What are we seeing here? Uh, what do you think? I mean, I, I, I imagined very much like like sort of like a half elf kind of thing Ooh, going on. Yeah. I like that. That feels right, especially considering how long that they've been here training yeah. as well. So that's that tracks. But very young for a half elf, still yeah. like kind of like early adulthood. Right. Right. So, recently graduated. So, so Flynn is like shouldn't it normally wouldn't be here. Flynn works at the academy. Okay. Like, like Flynn okay. is Flynn is one of the airship captains who, who go. So if you guys go out on a mission, <laughs> you can't take your Rentex to the mission site <laughs> because of the fact they would just run out of charges very quickly and then you would basically just have to coast at ridiculously <laughs> slow speed so generally what they do is they'll load the rentex up into an airship and then they will take the airship mm-hmm. out to the mission site and then deploy you out because uh the charges do wear out fairly quickly and once they're out you have to slowly recharge them back up again and so you don't want to waste them uh, and so flynn is the captain of the airship that takes you out on your mission so you've done missions together uh and they were sort of part of the people that one of the people who were a mentor to you before Eke came into the picture, helping you out in your early junior year at uh, Luna Academy. Uh, hey, hi, good, hey, hey, hi. 
Anybody, everybody's here? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. How's everybody been? Medium good. Medium good, that's the same as always. Yeah. Nice. Like to come from a place of neutrality. Yeah, yeah. Still being chaotic, good. <laughs> Lunch was a little chaotic, good. Yeah, I yeah. did shoot a bunch of food. Again? Yes. Did anybody get caught? Well, okay. it was very apparent that I did that, but no one got in trouble. No, you tell us. That's what matters. There yeah, you go. But of course, you did hear about the simulation. We did, like, so did anything else happen? Anything, like, matic, violent? Yeah. Yeah. It'll uh, <laughs> push around some game. And, like, the look over at Bud. <laughs> uh. Okay, uh, anything else? That guy's, like, staring. Is Flynn, like, trying to get to Seems yeah, like it. So, so he'll, he'll wait for a second as they can set up on the ledge, and he pulls out like a spyglass. Right, so while while Flynn's talk, he will just. You gaze out at the sweeping clouds, yeah. similar kind of like snow gathered up. As you're in the real sunset hours now, as the the, the purple and orange streaks and uh, gorgeously uh, caress the sky. He'll say, Flynn, get to the point. Oh, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to know this about the simulation. I heard it was kind of a, a where? shit show? I heard it was a shit show. <laughs> You're pretty good at it, actually, already. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, but what happened? I totally hit all my shots. Okay, that's that's not bad. That's great. What, what, uh, what else? Hmm. Well, I got this badass claw from a demon that I put on my ship, making it cooler, and uh -huh. it went away. Simulation. Talked about real life application, like the difference. It's well, what else? I it's... hit all my shots. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ouch. I went invisible. Oh, nice. And then. Uh huh. So good, I took it. Okay, so I was trying to get to the fact that like it didn't go great. Yeah, yeah, no. So you, like, <laughs> you ask? Uh, I'm trying. This is a teachable moment. <laughs> I we got backstabbed, and uh, I... yeah, there appears to be dissension in the ranks. I'm aware of bad and the others. <laughs> are you the 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 two that are? That's not the yeah. I think their name was Rhea because it was it reminded me of diarrhea, and I don't I wanted to. Correct. It, almost the two, if you combine them. The, these students, they're still people. Um, but what matters is you should probably handle those situations a little differently. Like, fight back, but not in the cafeteria. Hmm. So in the simulation, I should have... Yes. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm getting mixed signals here. So confused. I know, I know. Yeah. What? what? We got sandbag sabotaged. We got sandwiches. <laughs> they sandwiched us. Listen, huh? Okay, so what, what will you do differently next time? Guns. Give, tell me in detail so I know how to prepare. Gun the sound You're in the situation again. Insight. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Still not the worst? Uh, I'm gonna... Nope. Work at all. Insight for me, plus wisdom. Do you want to use your two I'm using points of resolve to, <laughs> to reroll? No, 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 I don't want to waste my French buttons. However, uh, so what I will do is I will use my ancestral recall. One of my ancestral recalls was lets me go back into an ancestor, uh, Lupine of mine, and um, who was more adept at sussing out sus. And uh, so I'll gain my proficiency bonus to this because I'm not proficient. Uh, but it is only. It is only a 10 with that. Just average. Um, I think what you, you're kind of getting the idea that perhaps upper management had asked Flynn to kind of gently sort of check in. And, and would upper management be a parental figure of said rival? Possibly. <laughs> Get to the point, Flynn. I just want to know, like, if this happens again, what are you going to do? And how do you, in detail, what would you, how would you react if you were being attacked again by an ally? 
I just, I want to make sure you're all going to be okay. I guess you can't. Hey, whatever comes to Not get sabotaged. That's okay. Check. That's, that's, that's a very good answer. It's in my brain now. Um, I, I am the leader. Are you, you the leader? We're all the leader. That's what makes us a team. Thanks. Nice line. Just made it up. <laughs> Look to Kai, like, leadership? This new? Are you really getting into leadership now? I, I just think going forwards, we will be more coordinated as a team, and uh, perhaps we will not catch ourselves, you know, blindsided like that. Ah, uh, yeah, because, like, the missions are only going to get harder. I don't like this. Look, no matter what, as a chaotic good, I have to be able to stick to my own guns. Yeah. Not just these. I mean, the things that I believe in. Hey. Okay, safety's on, everybody. Chill. <laughs> safety's on. Everybody okay. Chill. okay. I have to be able to stick to what I believe in. I want to act in accordance with my morals, my values, and my friends. And if someone else is trying to screw us up, stand between us, that's my control. Sabotage. Is that, what you're, is that what you're trying to say? Oh, you're not even close, yeah. No, <laughs> you're trying to get sabotaged. No, that's a different one. Okay, if we're going to get sabotaged or sabotaged, that's not in my control. All I can do is protect my friends in the moment. Hope that they have a change of heart. They see the goodness that we show. Ah, yeah, oh, okay. So good. Thanks, bro. Okay, I gave turns around now, finally, because this whole time he was talking through the wind, basically. He turns around and sits with his back face to the atmosphere. Sunset behind them. You see more of the silhouette of, of. Are you familiar with causality? Honestly, not at all. I feel like I'm learning something today. I was just excited to see everybody, but uh, yeah, what's up? It sounded like you had an agenda, so. Well, of course I have an agenda. Like, I'm not. I respect you all, but I also have to respond. I gotta, like, I gotta answer the higher ups. I gotta, you know, fill out the reports. God. The Lord. Here's something for the reports. <laughs> Cause and effect. Uh huh. They started it. <laughs> Put that in the report. They started it. <laughs> He's trying to do it non elementary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just finally like cause and effect. They started it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the first smart thing you've said, old man. That's the second time you've said that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that weird like freeze frame with the eyes going green. He's a time mage. <laughs> I think he has a team. He's done all this before. We're not exactly keen on teaming up with people that we don't get along. So in the future, we're going to be a little bit more wise about uh, our future crossovers. That's fair, but just like you got to be able to work with people you don't like too. Oh, for sure. Okay, okay. I, I, I will. Yeah, yeah, I pick you. <laughs> I will say, I feel like we were doing that, and then they also did attack at us, and uh, we only uh, healed them, and at best made it neutral so that they wouldn't come back and hurt us again. What would you have us do different in this situation? Because that have a lot happened at us. That's not the way I heard it. So, like, I heard that you had attacked the other two. Oh, dead ass? No, 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 no. So what happened was, I, w I did this awesome, cool battle attack straight into, I angled myself at the fish and blasted a hole inside of it very heroically. And then this other guy came up and was like, um, actually, let me show you how you really do it. Used the hole I already created, made a bunch of demons fly out at all of us. Um, and then Shade started blasting everywhere. And then uh, they got damaged. Uh, I got damaged. Um, we all got damaged by them. Um, and then when uh, started to fall down, uh, AK helped them out as well. And um, yeah, that's the whole thing that happened. I was going to definitely kill at least one of them next turn. So that's on me. But that didn't happen yet, unless it did in your timeline. No comment. We all look at you. No answer. Okay, well, I think I have to review the tapes then, because that's not, like, the report I got was a little bit flipped. I just want to make sure everything looks good for you all. It's, it's really important that you get a really good position after this. I just, I've, I've watched you from metaphorical infancy to now, and I really, really believe that this is going to be your year. I mean, I hope so. I don't think that was maybe our best performance, but I don't think no. we did anything short of exemplary work when we had teammates that were shooting us, quite literally. That's why you're a leader. I think Riyadh simply That's the name, yeah. skewed the information given because he has influence higher up on the council, familiar with dealing with these sorts of folks. There are methods in which we can overturn it, but now, they'll do as you ask. Yeah, I'm just looking out for you. Correct. Got it. Killed his dad. 
I'm a little lost, but you got me beautiful. That was a that joke. Yeah. That was I, did, a joke. I didn't hear that. Didn't hear that. La 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 la. Sorry, I meant to say murder his papa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we are uh, destroyers of evil. And killers of good. Which means we're good at killing chaotic good. <sighs> chaotic neutral, but. Really? You ask more questions, and that's on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I appreciate you looking up. You get all little. Ed starts the prayer. Pug, <laughs> <laughs> your ears. Put him on my head. Yes, it's a little warm and a little damp. Are you? Are you? Are you saying that that was a bond of friendship? I think it was. Just... I think it was. All right, that was like, not even intentional. Friendship Every time all. Damien and I look at each other. It's yeah. a friendship. <laughs> You're now at three friendship resolve. Nice. For your pool. Uh, Flynn kind of just hangs out then. It's not unusual for Flynn to, yeah. to hang around you. I bust out cards and we'll yeah, 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 yeah. all rounds. Ooh, mm. ooh. Just, are these, like, these aren't like playing cards though. These are like some kind of special yeah, like, yeah. Like, tarot yeah. cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 <laughs> like, like tarot cards. Dueling hey, swords. Yeah. Looking good. <laughs> Dueling fiends. <laughs> Dueling fiends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Card, you, battling fiends. Yeah. Uh, do you guys let me win? Or I mean, I definitely the, do for or sure. Do, am I just, or do I think I'm winning and you guys are just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, this one's super cool. It does like 10 times the damage. Like, you're right. That's, I didn't see that coming. I do have my own cards, just, and if it's Yu-Gi-Oh rules, it's just an entire deck of Dark Hole. <laughs> like the field yet again. <laughs> oh, how do you keep winning? That guy's not playing. He's just doing the, the the glass, and then he's looking through the spyglass, and then every once in a while, when those to keep gonna isn't gonna get the play. He just spends time, and talks for him briefly, just the two of them, and says. Says, not that card, the other one. Think it's out of time. So it's a blip in moments, but they're like, Yeah. Oh no, this one instead. You know, like when you play the card, you're like, No, I can't take that back. Thank you, voice in my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, you're playing really well today. Yeah. Oh, wow. <sighs> I fold. <laughs> That's a roll here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't even activate my trap cards. So I fold. <sighs> Rough. Our blade. I'm gonna see Grove Summon. <laughs> It's dark hole. <laughs> oh my god, again. <laughs> You've summoned my trap card. <laughs> I didn't even see that one coming. Yeah. Ooh. But the wins! Wow! Wow! Very good. It's all thanks to the voices of me. <laughs> It'll be on my tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> Not and gonna, it's that one. And as the uh, as the light fades, uh, it never gets truly dark in Elysia being high up. Um, uh, there's sort of an ethereal glow in the sky from the veil's projections and uh, the ley lines beneath that keep everything aloft also emanate like a little kind of low dim light. So there's sort of this, it's sort of this glowing evening as um, there are... Uh, crystals that that give off some level of light, dancing lights, you know, uh, eternal fire, sort of eternal flame bells, kind of blanketing across the Loon Academy. But uh, even in the areas where there isn't magical light, it isn't ever truly dark. So mm. you can kind of just stay up here for as long as you wanted to. It, it gets a little darker and it's not quite as as bright, mm. but it is still, you can see fine and it's 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 a nice, it's still, it's kind of chilly, but it's not, it's not cold. Um, but the, it has now reached um, sort of the apex of night at this point and it is starting to get very quiet. You don't hear a lot of like the, the various shouts coming up from the, from the the wind of different people doing battle formation testings and airships being repaired and you get the humming of various mana engines are settling down as evening is now blanketing across. Uh, question, um, is there, in this academy, is there an expected time for us to all be back in the dorms sleeping if night itself is not as obvious? It, yeah, like there is, there is sort of the expected time for you to be up and up and at them. Um, and also, of course, if you are sleeping and an emergency happens, will be woken up and sure. he will be brought into action. So <laughs> it is recommended that you, you know, do an early bed because you never know when you might get risen in yeah. the middle of the night. And so you're always supposed to be on active yeah. duty. Uh, whether you listen to that advice is completely entirely up to you, but that is generally the recommendation. Okay. Uh, and we are kind of reaching that point now where most of the students tend to go get ready to get themselves ready for bed, just in case, because the Lunar Hordes don't really advertise their attack patterns. <laughs> they sort of just decide to attack whenever they decide to attack, and usually it's an all hands on deck kind of moment when that occurs. 
So, uh, and you being an elite squad who, with many missions under your belt, would definitely be called in, regardless of how much sleep you've had. Sleepy time. Uh, sleep is very work for games. I like that you just say that, like, out of nowhere, in the middle of, like, it's just kind of night, you're like, sleep time for games. Yeah. I'm like, that's one of the smartest things anyone's ever said, old man. Let's go. First time I've ever heard that. I think that means we're tired? In security <laughs> speech? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, Flynn will... will give a uh, sort of a sign off and just kind of like vault over the side of the uh, <laughs> no! of, of the roof as a uh, little hummingbird uh, vehicle just kind of you know, veers oh off. <laughs> they do it every time and every time they're like, oh no, Flynn, don't. Please. <laughs> Guys, let's go. I gotta tuck Poog in for bed. Yeah. I was actually thinking, I was like, the first priority, we gotta give a little like... And kiss on the head. Kiss on the head. Little blanket. Fucking... Mm-hmm. Do you do you all stay in the same dorm? I assume Eke has his own. Yeah, Eke goes towards his own. But yeah. do the three of you then stay in your own dorm, or do you have like separate rooms? And if so, then who sleeps with Pud? My guess would be it's like an, an area for our squad, but like we have separate rooms. Yeah. In yeah. There. yeah. Um, and I think the Pud thing is like a day of the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have like a whole calendar. You have a chart. That's like it's chart. You have a chart right there in the main room, in like the common room, and it's like, whose day is it today? Monday, <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Pud day. <laughs> <laughs> it's Eke's day, yeah. <laughs> I hope Eke's like, you go sleep with them. Because he wants them to have more rotations. Oh. They're going to be leaving soon. Yeah. Yeah. Next is Kyoto. <laughs> Thank oh, you very hi. much. Oh, I, can we see there's like on the calendar like a couple of Kyoto's days are like scratched off like in exchange for something. It's like extra ration or something. Yes. Yes. Or like yeah. so in the answer to the riddle, it's like, okay. You know, oh, like, oh, yeah, but tonight I got put. <laughs> nice. Keep your feet warm. I probably need a bed where I can put my wings. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, you would have a room specifically designed. I mean, Ariel elves are quite common up here. So, okay. like, there, a lot of the, constru- the construction and architecture would be designed around the fact that you have wings. So, that, that's definitely not. Um, is there any uh, sort of bedtime rituals that you undergo before you settle in? For- um, oh, any of us? Or- yeah, just. I'm preening. <laughs> <laughs> you had a busy day. Reading all my feathers <laughs> and putting them in the garbage bin. I think every night I probably spend a little bit too much time in the washroom staring in the mirror. But people just think I'm like, you know, brushing my teeth excessively long. No. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm like oh, is, is it is it like um, like affirmations into the mirror or is it more just like you sad sack? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's a little bit of that for sure. <laughs> It's like a be better. Yeah. <laughs> you better this time. I know yeah. you can. You're stronger than this. <sighs> Get over this. <laughs> um, there are uh, several tenets of uh, dinosaur karate that I sort of like, I sit. Um, what's the position where your like, legs are sort of tucked under you and you're... It's like a lotus. A, a lotus, yeah. I just, I sit there and I'm just like, I whisper those tenets to myself, um, unheard <laughs> by anyone else. Before I'm not over and just like except Pud, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pud's got all the dirt. Don't kill anyone. And uh, what about Eke? Just when goes the alarm spell around his area. Oh, he's paranoid. Yeah, he's a little paranoid. Sits down. At hat, almost almost exactly like any other situation. Just. <laughs> Closes his eyes. Do you sleep or do you just close goes, your eyes? And goes to bed. Oh. He snuggles up like a little ball, yeah, yeah. two tails, and then just all you all you basically see is the hat and like the the rims of the tails. Yeah, <laughs> perfect little circle. Perfect little little fox legs. Morning starts the next day, of course, with the ringing of the bell. Just dun 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 dun. <laughs> And uh, you all rise up mm-hmm. from your rooms out into you, in, into the common area of your uh, task force, mm. whereupon uh, there is a summons, and you have been asked to report to the master director for a mission. Ooh. That will be next time. 